Hey there, YouTubers. Thanks for tuning back in. This is Daniel Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Uh, continuing our lessons on user forms. This time we're going to talk about IF. However, um, we are going to fiddle around with our user form a little bit more, but we're going to talk about the IF, which is kind of like in a regular, uh, in a wor regular worksheet, you can do equals if, and you can use a logical test like if this cell equals the word blue or something to that effect and you would do a comma and you'll say a value if true so if true how about um, yes and if false then the number 10 you know just throwing something random out there so this is blue but what if it said Bleh, like that then it would be the number 10 because it was in the false area here so I'm going to hit Control Z to undo that. And I'm going to show you how you can do that in Visual Basic. Because, of course, you can't do equals if. But you can do something very similar to that. So I'm going to hit Alt F11 to access my Visual Basic menu. What we're going to do, actually, is we're going to create a label here that flags and becomes visible only if uh, the current selected person is active. So if they're inactive... Then they will be. Uh, it, it won't. It will say inactive. But if the regular old status of A, then that's fine. So let's begin our loop, shall we? We're going to do it on the click event. So anytime that this uh, or change rather, anytime this drop-down menu is changed from one entry to another, it's going to activate all these things. But in this case, we're going to go ahead and have it activate another thing called the inactive label. Let's make a label and you're from your toolbox here. Click on label and then we'll click one right here. And uh, let's just see how it looks. Inactive. Okay. That's okay. I'm going to change the font. By clicking down here in the font. And we'll make this, uh, let's make it 10 and bold just for kicks. So, and we'll scooch it right there. Um, so yeah, let's do that. That looks fine. Um, and we'll give this label a name. We're going to call it LBL Inactive. Okay, so we're we're set. Now let's double click on here and you access our change event here. Whenever this button is changed, this combo box is changed. So at first we say if it's blank, then go ahead and exit that sub procedure. Uh, and we, as we continue, we say, if the option button of the employee is true, then we're going to gather the six-digit employee number. And if it's uh, if it's sorted by the name instead of the employee ID, then we'll take the rightmost six digits from the combo box. Uh, and here's this leaves us where we are now. We just uh, looked up, did a V lookup. Uh, looking up the employee ID that we just gleamed from the employee list, column 8 would bear the favorite color of that person and a an exact lookup. So now we're going to try to see if they're inactive. We're going to use an IF because, uh, oh, well, we have their status of active. We want to use IF, so um, we're going to have something that's going to be true or false. How about uh, has insurance? That's Boolean, isn't it? True or false. So let's um, let's make a few more. And we'll try to randomize this just a little bit here. Doesn't have to be an exact science. I'm just going to drop that down there. Now we have uh, several trues and falses. But I'm going to use an if to say that if this is true, then use the word yes in the label. Otherwise, use the word no. That way it doesn't come up as true or false because only us computer nerds like to see trues and falses. Everybody else wants to see yes or no or affirmative or I don't know. Uh, let's begin um, to get that. So, actually, come to think about it, I'm going to access my... Im I was trying to think if the employee list uh, expands that long. Let's take a look here. Yeah, okay, just to cover our base, we did it all the way to column J, so we're good. Uh, Alt F11. So, what was our label name? It was me.lbl inactive. That equals, and I'm actually going to copy and paste this, and I'll just change the column to 9 instead of 8, because we have a perfectly good VLOOKUP from our... From, our employee list there. So we'll use column 9 
has insurance. And let's just take a look at that. I'm going to click on the gray area here to put a little place marker. That way when I hit F5, it's going to stop right there. Uh, so whenever I do change this, let's do um, Nan Stoker. So I'm going to hit F8 and see what the answer to our little VLOOKUP is here. F8. So the answer is true. Ugh, people don't want to see that on our label. And I'll show you what that looks like. It looks like right here it says true, but that's we don't want to see that. Uh, we want to see has insurance or does not have insurance or something like this. So let's edit that. Alt F11. And we'll run this again and click on something once more. But now we're going to use an I if. So I if, that's IIF, and pretty much the syntax is the same as on a worksheet. You got the expression, what's, what are you testing? This whole thing here, this whole VLOOKUP here, equals, uh, equals true. If it is, comma, then, what's the true part? Then, uh, the label we want it to say, uh, has insurance, end quote. And then you do a comma, and let's do the false part. Um, and we'll put it in caps. No insurance. Exclamation. End quote. Now you have to do an in parentheses because we're done with our I if statement here. And it, if I click away, it should capitalize that. Two, dub, two capital I's for some reason. I if. Uh, so that's how you do that. Um, the, of course, the other way is if blah 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 equals true then and then you put this and you indent it and you'd say that and then you do an else or an else if if you had more conditions and you'd say whatever you want to happen then you say end if but this is a shortcut you just say i if blah 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 and if the kids is true you do this comma otherwise do that so i ifs are pretty cool and they have their uses so let's test this out. We happen to know that uh, the VLOOKUP, well, we don't even know what that is. Let's hit F8, and we'll find out. No insurance. Okay. So I'm going to take my place marker off now. I'm going to hit F5, and, uh, well, I'll just minimize this. Here's our menu, and I'm going to hit F5. There we go. Uh, test user has insurance. Uh, no insurance, no insurance, no insurance, no insurance, has insurance, no insurance, has, no. Okay, and of course the label could be adjusted. It needs to be taken about that size. And I can move my cancel button out of the way a little bit even. Like so. And that may do it. Has insurance, no insurance, has insurance. So, and let's just do uh, Shaka Zulu. Z-U-L. Okay, no insurance. Favorite color is yellow. That's pretty sweet. All right, thanks for tuning in, guys. That's the I if, and I'm sure you can think of a lot of other applications besides this funky VLOOKUP scenario here. So thanks for watching.